Oh my God, guys, today is such an exciting day. And that is our red-eyed crocodile skink babies hatched. I'm super excited. I'm James and you're watching Blue Dog Reptiles. Now, we're gonna try, you see that little, oh, it just ran. Oh, it's gonna be so hard to see and I don't wanna disturb the baby. We got a quick glimpse of the baby but I don't want to disturb it too much since it just hatched today, guys. Um, we also have another egg back here. And that one should be due to hatch any day now as well. Mom is, mom's hiding. She's like, oh my God, I just uh, had this baby and now it won't leave me alone. Um, mom, where is mom? Mom's probably down in the water. She hides a lot. But anyway, I wanted to talk about what to do with your babies. So a couple of things, if you're breeding animals, there's two things to do with um, the eggs. Now you can either leave them with the parents some species that's good, some species not so much. You're more, you're gonna be more successful if you do remove the eggs because then you can control the environment with an incubator and all that. <coughs> now with snakes, yes, I move them to incubators or even chameleons, I move them to incubators. Um, just because snakes don't leave them alone. Chameleons are the same way, they'll go down and destroy a nest sometimes, not always, but quite a bit. Now, with my red-eyed crocodile skinks, I've actually left the babies in. We have had six babies that have been born by the pair that's in here, and all six have hatched. Um, number seven would be the egg back here in the back. Now, why I leave them with the parents is because red-eyed crocodile skinks are actually very good parents the mom and dad will actually go out and forage food for the babies. Now, since that baby was born today, oh, you can see its head through the crack of the wood right there. It's trying to hide. Oh, you little stinker. I know you're way down there. But, so for the first week that after they're born, they're absorbing the yolk um, from their egg and so they're not going to be hungry they're not going to eat because guess what they're still absorbing all that food from that yolk um, so a lot of people are like oh it was just born try to feed it no don't do that because uh, odds are you're going to stress the animal <coughs> and some on the topic of snakes some snakes will go a couple of weeks after being born before they'll eat um, Red-eyed crocodile skinks, typically what I've seen is it's about seven to 10 days before they'll actually start eating. Um, but yeah, they're, they're very awesome, very exciting. Very, uh, are we gonna get a shot of you? Oh, uh, look. Now, if you notice too, the fact that the, it's called the cask um, on their head. Um, oh, see, I just moved my finger around too much and he went and hit again. We're trying to look at you. But anyway, um, the top of their head, if you notice as a baby, even though it's a red-eyed crocodile skink, the baby's head is actually yellow. And that's how it's very easy to tell a juvenile from an adult is because the juveniles are gonna have yellow heads. As they mature, they will grow into their solid black head and whether they're a red eye, white eye, black eye, um, They'll, as they hit maturity, they will uh, transition um, as they grow. But guys, I wanted to share this exciting news. Um, I will also post shorts of uh, the baby because I actually had the baby out a little bit ago just to making sure that it was okay and um, it didn't have any deformities or anything like that. Because that is, that's a possibility anytime you breed. Do we get one last look at you? Or is that a nope? Okay, I can see you. I can see your snoot. Right there, I can see your snoot. And you're a little stinker. 
But wanted to share the great news with you guys. I, I love breeding red-eyed red crocodile skinks. They're not that common anymore. And um, I like to, the parents are both captive bred animals. Um, I don't believe in uh, taking animals from the wild. Um, and because these guys are captive bred, I want to, and what, what we do typically is as the baby, once the baby's about four months old, then we'll find the baby a new home. Um, that way we're not taking red-eyed crocodile skinks from the wild and these are captive bred only. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share. Thank you to all, all the new subscribers. You guys are beautiful. We love you very much and we will see you next time. Do we get a one last peek? There you are. We'll see you guys next time. <laughs>